Did you know you can use pair correlation to your advantage? This lesson 21, as we are doing NSD CHF analysis, I want to show you how you can do uh, pair correlation to your advantage. For those who are new here, my name is Esther Mofri. I'm a trainer. I will train you Forex until you make those profits. Now, you might not even understand what correlation is. You might not even uh, be aware the term correlation. The term correlation simply means something that, uh, that is something that is relating to something. So correlation is something that is relating to something. So there are some pairs that if you know they are buying, they will help you to know a certain pair is buying. For instance, if let's say today you, are, you know for sure GBPUSD is a buy. If you know GBPUSD is a buy, do you know EURUSD also is a buy? So the correlation of GBPUSD and EURUSD can be either 90% or 85%, but mostly when the pound is saying it will buy, of course EURUSD will buy, and of course what else will buy? Out USD. Why do you think all these pair will buy when they have said they will buy? It's because they have the same quote. So you can see GBPUSD has the same quote as U, which is USD, and the rest has USD as the quote. So I've come to realize you can use a correlation of a pair that you are very, very confident to use it at your advantage. For instance, this month, I'm not supporting CHF. Swiss franc, I'm not supporting it. Furthermore, I'm not, uh, if you are on a buy CHF, if you're buying CHF, it means any pair that is a base, any pair that is a base, because you need to understand, let me teach you something uh, very fast. You need to understand, if I have the GBP USD, one is a base, the other one is a quote. This is a base, and this is a what? It's a quote. This information is even in, in the online space. So GBP is the base, and USD is the quote. So the only thing you need to understand is that the first one comes, the first, uh, the first one, the first currency is the one that we call the base. The second currency is what we call the quote. Okay. Are we together? So what happens is that this uh we always say if the base is strong, if if the base is strong, if the, if the base is strong, we buy. If the quote is strong, we do what? We sell. So if the base is strong, we buy. If the quote is strong, is strong we do what? We sell. Now you need to understand, when you're talking of CHF, for me, I don't want to buy it. So anything like CHF JPY, if I, if I get CHF JPY, what, what is the base? CHF is the base. So if I have CHF JPY, the question is, what is the base and what is the quote? CHF is the base and, and JPY is the quote. If I get USD, J, uh, USD CHF, which one is the base, which one is the quote? So in this case, CHF here is the base in that pair, but here CHF becomes the quote. So if you're supporting CHF to be strong, you will come and buy CHF JPY. Here we will do what we'll buy. And here we will not buy here now, we will sell. Why? Because you are following this. So if the base is strong, we buy. If the quote is strong, we sell. So if you know for sure CHF is stronger, you are going to support CHF. Any quote, any pair that has the CHF as the base, you'll be buying it. You see, and any any quote that has a, uh, the quote as CHF will be selling it. You see now, the problem now is that if you don't know if certain pair is strong or uh, if certain pair is strong or weak, you you can't use correlation at your advantage. You can't use. So this is base. So the only way it maybe you know USD is very strong, you will go and sell GBP USD. If you are told you know USD is very strong, you'll go and buy USD card. Why? Because it has different. Uh, one, it is the base. The other one is the quote. So that's what I'm saying. 
So you need to understand that if CHF I know is a stronger currency rate at now, I will do what? I will go and buy CHFJPY. If I know CHF is still strong, I'll go and sell. Now I have an understanding CHF is not strong. So I'm avoiding to sell USDCHF because I already have, I'm aware. And what is making me have this aware is because Euro CHF, Euro CHF, that's why I'm saying you can use uh, pate, pairs to, to even elaborate for you. Euro CHF, if we check on the monthly, it has confirmed a buy. So we need to ask, if we are buying, who is control? Base is strong. If we buy, base is strong. So in this case, Euro is stronger than CHF. If I go and take another pair, which is different, AUD CHF on the monthly, again, AUD is stronger, why? Because it has a double bottom and it is buying. So a double bottom makes AUD stronger. So in this case, AUD CHF stronger, Euro CHF stronger. So what, what, the, what is communication or what is the hands up I'm getting about CHF guys? Even without doing so much analysis, automatically I'm being told CHF is not as strong as you think. Why? Because two different pairs have identified a long-term trade. So according to monthly, let me show you, this being my base on the monthly, it is a, it has a double bottom, making it buy. So who is this weaker? CHF is weaker in this case. Euro CHF is the base, making a double bottom on monthly. What happens if that we have a double bottom on the monthly? The market will buy. So what will happen to CHF? So the question is, I have used Audi CHF and Euro CHF to know the fate of CHF. So if I want to trade NSD CHF right now, if I want to come and trade NSD CHF, this is what I have. I hope I'm not tongue twisting you. <laughs> so if I have NSD CHF, automatically I already know some history about CHF. Two instances on higher time frame, CHF seems to be weak. Why? Because if it was strong, it would be buying on those currencies. So in some week, in some instances, CHF is a bit, and being our quote, being our quote, it is weak. So it is weak. Why is it weak? Because I have noticed two pairs making it weak. So, so at the end of the day, I will not, I am just seeing technical analysis on on CHF, Euro CHF is a buy, Audi CHF is a buy. Why is CHF losing power? So when I come to NSD CHF, I am already aware of, both of CHF is weak. But can I do, do I know anything about NSD? Do I know anything about NSD? So if I check NSD USD, if right now I go and check NSD USD on the daily time frame. NSD USD on the daily time frame, on the monthly time frame, on the weekly time frame. Guess what? NSD seems stronger even than the USD. So what does it tell you? NSD seems stronger. So NSD being the base, NSD being the base, and the USD being the quote. And we know from the chart, NSD USD has a what? Has um, NSD USD has a double bottom on the daily. So at the end of the day. NSD for me seems to have more power than USD. So that's how you use correlation to your favor. So when I come to both of them now, NSD, CHF, I know NSD, USD, though it's behaving, it's the NSD is the base, and I have a double bottom making it buy. So if a base is buying, who is stronger? NSD is strong than USD. Now I come to NSD CHF. I already know NSD is stronger. NSD card, NSD card, NSD is stronger than card. So the information of NSD, NSD is stronger. If I go to NSD JPY, NSD is stronger. So NSD pairs, they are portraying NSD being stronger. So when I come to trade NSD CHF, I have information of CHF and I have information on NSD. So if I go to NSD CHF on the monthly, I want to see what is happening. And that's what we're here to do. So I want to show you how to analyze simply. 
So the, the first thing we need to understand is that the market structure since last year, 20, since two years ago, 2021, the market has been going down. And then it has reached to a very strong, strong support area. And what happened, CHF was very strong and they broke. They broke that strong support. But the question is, is this a real breakout or is it a fake out? Is it a false break? So what kind of a uh, break is that? Is it false or real? So you can't know until the next candle. So we can't tell. Once the break happened, we didn't know if this real, is it fake? And then guess what we got previously because we look at the market structure number two now we check at the we check at the previous candle the price action we check at the previous candle we have a a bullish angle now who is getting supported if there's bulls if the the market is bullish and it's NSD buying NSD so NSD is being supported so what happens is that CHF is losing more power so I understand that NSDCHF, even from the monthly perspective, buyers are just starting to come in, but I don't have uh, enough evidence. So what do I do? I go to the weekly time frame. So if I go to the weekly time frame, I notice I had some resistance area and I got the resistance break. So this is my first evidence that buyers are very strong up to their breaking resistance. So here I have a resistance that has been broken. So this is my first evidence my first evidence that the market, uh, the buyers, NSD is stronger. So that resistance has been broken, you see? So I still don't have a confirmation yet. I go to daily time frame. I want to show you how you analyze. I go to daily time frame and the market is still selling and I'm wondering what is happening. And I'm thinking, what could the market make this market sell? The only thing that is making this market sell is this double top the possible double top. And guys, if you know, I, I think I have now convinced you <laughs> that market double tops and double bottoms is the way to go. Why? Because if you had seen this double top, you would have been closing out profits. The reason why I didn't enter, I didn't want to support CHF. For me, I said, I'm not trading CHF as a sell because the minute I enter sell here, I know it's a short-term trade. For me, I like swing trading. I like long-term trades. So I measure half and the market is at the half. I told you, when you have a double top, so many things can happen at the half. Number one, it can give you, it can break the half or it can break this top and give you a cup and handle. And I think now it's due, I will have to do that video on the cup and handle. So we can get the cup and handle, you see? And get the cup and handle. When we get the cup and handle, what do you think is happening? The cup and handle will come to support. It will come to support what? The monthly, the NSD on weekly, it will come to support. So let's first check, do we have this double top on the weekly? That, is it there on the weekly? Let's check. Is it on the weekly? It's not on the weekly because it had not activated it. So it is not on the weekly. Now we are wondering, will we wait? The question is, we know we are not even supporting sell. We cannot say support sell. Even when you look at this double top, it doesn't have RBS. There is no RBS. So that is one of the things that I check for me if a market will sell or not. So because it does not have RBS, I already know this one, it's not going to, going to sell. It's going to buy. But the question is, will we wait? For the market to break and break this cup and handle, 131, 150 for us to enter this buy. Do we have, do we need to wait? That is the question, guys. Do we need to wait for the market to break here so that we can know it is a sell? No, you can still go to lower time frame. And that's the magic, guys. When I went to lower time frame, guess what? I found an area where we have this double. Bottom, possible double bottom. Guys, you can imagine having a possible double bottom, a possible double bottom on four hour. That is not on the daily, guys. Uh, this is free money. 
So I have a possible double bottom on four hour and we will check with you if it is available on the daily. So you notice this double bottom is the one that will give us now a hands up of how to trade according to how monthly has been telling us. So LSDCHF, add it in your watch list. Can you see double bottom on the, on the daily? Now, the, now NSDCHF, the perfect time frame to trade NSDCHF is four hour. You can see it's monthly, you can see it's weekly. I told you, the only time you know perfect time frame to trade is when one pattern is available on the four hour. So what we do is that I remove everything and I start afresh. Why? Four hour has captured my interest. So I have that neckline. I have this double bottom. I can't believe it. Guys, we will watch this double bottom give us entry. We will trade together. I can't wait for you guys to make money. Imagine learning and making money. So like that. Like that. Can you see? This double bottom has RBS confirmed. It has RBS that it has confirmed. So the RBS is telling us not only going to half, but it will be even going to the neckline. So once you enter this trade, have patience, have patience. So we have the neckline, we have the half, we have the, we have everything. We have the neckline half, we have the possible double bottom. The only thing now it's remaining is CRB, current resistance break current resistance break. So guys, I want us to observe. You see, there's no way we can enter this trade without having a current resistance break. So it's us to monitor this trade. We monitor CRB. So we are waiting for a red, can a green red, we get a current resistance, then we wait for it to break. And this market, it's gonna buy up to that area. So this is just to tell you guys, that anytime you analyze, it involves a lot of things. We have started with correlation of pairs. We have certain that NSD is, can be more powerful than CHF. And we will be watching. I will be here watching with you guys. So add NSD CHF and let us watch it together. All the best guys and I love you.